So, uh, hi there, Antonia, and thanks for joining me. So we're going to have a little conversation. I wanted to start, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself and your role and your university um, and all of that. OK, thank you. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, well, my name is Antonia Cristinoi. I'm a professor in translation and linguistics. Uh, and I work at Sorbonne Nouvelle um, in, uh, and I'm actually uh, one of the, how should I put it? Because it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a French, uh, it's a French term. Uh, I'm in charge of the translation and interpreting program, uh, graduate, postgraduate program uh, at, uh, at the ESIT, uh, which is the Ecole Supérieure pour Interprète et Traducteur. So in Paris, Sorbonne Nouvelle. Okay, super. Thank you. Um, and I understand that you you've worked with RWS for a while, so you have courses that benefit from internships with us. Exactly. Well, uh, I have been working with RWS for for a while. I have been working with you in in my previous uh, university. And then uh, we have begun uh, working with you uh, here in Sorbonne Nouvelle. And we, uh, we are actually very happy to benefit from uh, the internships uh, and from the experience that you uh, kindly share with us because we actually uh, invite lecturers from, uh, from your agency in our, in our classes in order to show students how to organize their professional activities after uh, university. Oh, okay, that's useful to know. So, um, so not only is it about um, just learning on the job about being a translator, but it's about the commercial aspects as well. The commercial as uh, aspects and also project management, uh, quality assessment, uh, and uh, so on and so forth, and also uh, understanding the workflow uh, within a translation provider um, agency. Uh, TSP agency, sorry, um, and uh, and then uh, yes, and how to to organize their 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 work and then uh, integrate the market. Well, that's that's useful to know. And so it's different types of role as well, so that people yeah. understand that um, as students they don't, you know, it's not just about translation, project management, exactly. and various other particular roles. Cool. Okay. Um, and so I suppose the, the TRADOS um, technology is something that you teach as part of the course in various, in what aspects? Well, the translation, uh, translation technology is really, really important in, in, in our, uh, in our program because uh, we know that students cannot actually integrate the market without having the technical skills that they, that they need. So we uh, actually integrate um, tra training in Trados uh, like for one uh, semester uh, in order to uh, help students um, be more efficient uh, in, their, in, in their translation work afterwards. Cool. OK, so is that part of the master's? That's course? part of the master's. That's, that's part of the we have actually one. Um, one semester during the second year, and it's a really a training for Trados that's that's uh, that's included in the program. Okay, cool. And I think we talked a bit earlier about um, the fact that these days one of the skills that translators need is is using knowing how to use machine translation as part of a machine translation and post editing skill. Do you feel like that's something that's well, helpful even 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 though uh, we um, emphasize the uh, the the crucial role of the human uh, in in the in the translation workflow we do teach our students how to use and how to assess machine translation tools and we actually have designed a course that's uh, um, based on um, machine translation literacy so knowing how machine translation systems uh, work and uh, being able to post edit and to understand uh, to understand how to do that efficiently um, okay cool 
that sounds really helpful for well it, for it is it, it, yeah. it, it's actually it, it, it actually is, i mean we need to prepare our students for for the market that they uh that they have that they are going to integrate so this uh, this is a an important requirement i mean we we cannot eliminate that even even though there are many many types of translation that that are not adapted to machine translation there are many texts that would be translation translated using uh, machine translation programs and we really have to to train our students to be able to deal with that yeah marvelous okay thank you so just popping back to the internships um mm -hmm. i just wanted to ask sort of how that supports your courses but also um is it the students experience really and how are they how they find working with an internship well uh, our program includes a mandatory uh, internship of a minimum of one month and it can go up to six months uh, and uh, this is really very important for uh, for for the students because it helps them understand how uh, translation works in a professional context and one of the one of the most important remarks uh, that we have concerning this particular experience and concerning the, exper the, the, the specific experience with your uh, company is that they are really really happy to uh, to be involved in teamwork which they don't have the occasion to practice during okay. their their classes or they practice less uh, they are trained to use um, many, many cat tools, even more, even more than Trados, and that's yes. uh, that's really precious for them. They can understand the workflow uh, in a in a professional translation agency, um, which is again something new for them, and and they can benefit from the training. So th these are the main aspects that they would uh, emphasize when they come back. This is the feedback feedback that we have. Oh, that's super. And um, one of the things I just wanted to ask as well is, um, do you know uh, how how successful some of those students that leave you, how, how they get on with finding jobs once they... Once they well, some of them uh, stay with uh, RWS. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, uh, well, they, they are happy to, to, to do so. And, and then, well, uh, some... Well, Having uh, having completed a long internship, which is often the case, um, helps them find find a job much more easily. You know, because they they are trained, they know how to use uh, the some some specific tools, and they can be really very very quickly operational on the market. So having this this um, particular skills skills like uh, project management, uh, quality assessment, um, and the technology, this is a, this is a huge huge asset on the market. So they they they, they don't have many many problems in finding jobs after this. Yeah. Okay. That's that's good to know. So it it really does support their job search it does. then. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. So I, I suppose the last thing I just wanted to ask quickly is, um, do you have advice for other lecturers um, relating to your experiences, particularly with teaching? Well, we we have, I mean, we have uh, obtained what we have asked for, uh, basically. So we are really, really happy because Anytime we ask for a specific topic in in our training, uh, we we do find the person that would be uh, really ready to to come and and join us. So I, I mean, maybe maybe something that we would be interested in would be um, some workshops uh, involving working with the minority languages or less translated languages, which is also a trend. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. in, in, in one of the main interests in, in translation today is, is post-editing and machine translation and so on and so forth. But this, this does not cover uh, all the needs of the market and there are new needs generated by the, by, by the movements of population and, and, and so on. And 
there is a, a growing interest in, in minority language translation, you know, yes, in less translated languages. So maybe this would be something that would that we would like to 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 develop in the future. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I think we have the same, you know, in our on the on the translation services side, mm -hmm. that same mm -hmm. requirement. Yeah, so exactly. that's a useful thing to know. It's useful for students to know that that's an area where you know there's going to be more exactly more need currently as well. Yeah. So the thing is just to to ask, isn't it, to ask for what you need? <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, well, I, I I'm really happy because I, I I can I can always get what I what I need and what I ask for. So well, uh, it's it's quite uh, quite nice. And you know, we have some someone from uh, RWS in our advisory board, uh, okay. and uh, and we we ask for advice or we ask for their opinion because they know the bet the, the 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 market better than than we do sometimes so we have you know people coming from various um, areas and we cover almost all areas of translation and uh, people that we we that that advise us and uh, and well, we have this uh, person from uh, from your um, company in our advisory board, and uh, we have this okay. permanent Good. interaction with with the the the, the, the professional environment. Yes, yeah, and that sounds like that's a mutually beneficial mm. arrangement. <laughs> well, it, it, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thanks so much for spending the time to talk to me, Antonia. Mm -hmm. I much appreciate it, and all the best with your courses and your thank you your your day. <laughs> well, but thank you, thank you for your support, and uh, well, I hope we'll uh, keep on doing the, this uh, great job together. Continue to work together. Super. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you.